number one reason that I don't like here in Central Florida is What is going on family? This is RJ Bautista, your local Central Florida Realtor with EXP Realty. Today, I will show you my most three things that I hate here in Central Florida. Not all about my video is all about how good Florida is and also how good is my area for buying or residing here in Central Florida. I just want to make honest with you what things that I don't like and maybe you don't like as well or if this Florida or Central Florida is right for you to live. But before I start in this video, if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe and the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends especially for those people who's thinking or on the fence of moving here in central florida maybe this is for them or maybe it's for you or maybe it's not so without further ado let's jump into it number one reason that i don't like here in central florida is traffic why and where traffic as you know i drive a lot as a realtor here in central florida i visit different communities different area different city from point a point b point c or even in tampa area i go there to check some stuff and visit my family there as well so the most annoying i would say yes annoying did i say annoying so most annoying that i don't like here is i4 traffic so if you are a person who drives a lot and you don't really like the traffic well think about it in i4 which is connecting from central florida to all the way to tampa or north central florida there's an i4 there and especially on the rush hour forget about the traffic or forget about the thing that you need to be on time if you are going point a point b because the traffic on i4 is ridiculous what do you mean by ridiculous like let's say if you are going from central florida all the way to downtown florida and you want to use the i for like a traffic there even though sometimes on the dead time i experienced this is just because like when i was planning to visit a neighborhood in downtown orlando which i have a client there before and then i have like in my gps saying oh it's only about from here in central florida where i'm located at in davenport area to the downtown florida or downtown orlando florida will only take me about 25 minutes so once i get there to the i4 and as soon as i hit this exit number 63 or 64 or 65 those were all the traffic getting jammed for some reason i don't know they always have something there that's the only thing for that i don't like here in central florida the traffic but however you can get away with it the normal hours from the traffic i experienced going to i4 is between the rush hour from 8 10 o'clock and same thing from 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock that's where all the traffic getting worse i think if this is because because of the exit from the Disney World to coming off here near in my area from exit 64 I believe or exit 63 or 65 those were all traffic just getting bumper to bumper for some reason as I said I don't know why but if you are this person make sure that you think about the traffic in this solution they have like different kind of highways or they called here turnpike we have like the 417 turnpike where you can go around the back of the i4 or we have different turnpike where you can connect in different side of the Orlando area however those turnpike have a fee like a toll fee you need to pay for that one from one dollar to one dollar and fifty cents to two dollars it depends how big is your vehicle and how heavy I think how heavy or if your vehicle is like small obviously you're not paying more but this is your option if you don't like really going to i4 as for me as far that i can avoid the i4 i will do that one because i hate traffic so that's my number one and number two here is the inclement weather so what do you mean like with inclement weather as you know we're florida we are on the sunshine state however we also have a inclement weather like typhoon 
hurricane, thunderstorm, all those stuff. If you don't know, I am from United Kingdom in Manchester to be exact. And in those particular locations where I used to live, we have like 80% of rain during for whole year round. Imagine 80% like raining there. That's why I choose to move here so I won't have any problem with the rain. But we have like the hurricane season which will scare you especially if you are the person doesn't like the thunderstorm or lightning oh think about this first because we have a lot of thunderstorm here and also lightning and heavy rains yes think about that one because we have a summer season here from july august september october and i would say november those are the rainy season or the summer season which you will have a hurricane season at the same time so from those months that i mentioned if you are the person who doesn't like this rain or thunderstorm make sure to consider this one as well before you moving here because you will experience a lot of this i will give you one example when i was in the sarasota beach area we experienced like a very good sunshine during that day and then after for a few hours staying there it become like really dark in the surrounded area while we having on something on the beach relaxing with family and stuff like that and then it start raining and it start hammering it down rain is there and a lot of winds and you will see thunderstorm either so for that instance you might think whoa what's going on and then this is the something that you need to think as well this this thunderstorm or whatever you experience like inclement weather it will just pass here like for only an hour two hours or maybe sometimes three hours after three hours become sunshine again welcome to sunshine state again that is weird yes if you're thinking about that i experience here a lot so you will have like most of the sunshine here compared to the rain however once they come here for a rain or thunderstorm for a few hours it will scare you so think about that that's my number to and my last one is the home insurance prices okay if you are planning to move here and you want to buy a property as you know i'm a real estate agent i compare all properties and also the prices for my client what is the best for them so if you're buying a property here they will have like a home insurance you cannot buy a property here without a home insurance and the home insurance here is more expensive compared to different states why because we have a risk of the inclement weather which could damage your property and also in addition we have a flood zone area here so what is about this flood zone area this is a bonus for you before you ever buy a property make sure that you or your real estate agent or realtor is checking that the property that you are going to buy is a flood zone x okay what is a flood zone x flood zone x it means like your property hasn't been flooded and also it doesn't need a flood zone insurance this is the thing if you're gonna buy a property you will have a home insurance and also if your property is in the flood zone area you will have another or extra a flood zone insurance so you're gonna pay two insurances just for your property on its own and the flood zone insurance and that is a lot for me i mean i don't know for you but if you're gonna live in that property let's say we have a flood zone a or flood zone a E. if you seen that one or if you don't know what does a or a e means it means that this property has been flooded for last 10 years or sometimes it's been flooded recently and then once you have your property it's in flood zone a or a e you will need a flood zone or flood insurance to your property on the top of your home insurance however if your property is not on the flood zone all you need to do is like you will have a regular home insurance but it doesn't mean your regular home insurance price is gonna be cheaper however if your property is located near coast let's say Tampa Bay Tampa Bay Tampa Bay area or like something near in coast and then your property is not a flood zone which is good however your home insurance will be more or expensive why because you will have a risk of a inclement weather like for example a hurricane hit that area where you want to live even though it's not a flood zone area and this hurricane is like at least 100 miles per hour wind or 150 miles per hour wind and hit your roof and your roof is just gone 
and how much will the insurance cost them to fix your house do you know like fixing a property especially the roof side from 1500 square footage for replacing the whole roof will cost the insurance for at least 15,000 or more to replace the whole roof so that's why it's very risky for the home insurance if they are going to insure your property near coast however if you are going to live here in central florida where i'm located at so once the inclement weather or hurricane hit the coast first and then hit the second on the central florida it not much because you are far away to the coast and the home insurance will consider you as a home buyer to less than probably hundred dollars a month lesser compared to the property who is close to the beach or close to the coast why because you are less risk or your property will be less risk compared to the property which near in the coast i hope that makes sense so i am not an insurance agent but i just giving you some idea if you are planning to move here in central florida so this is the video for today and the last question if this is you would you live here in florida specifically in central florida or in anywhere here in florida let me know in the comment down below and i will try to give more information if you need to to make sure that florida or central florida is right for you this is the video for today guys i hope this is helpful and useful and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribe like subscribe like like subscribe share this video to all your family and friends and i would appreciate that if you stay in this video until this end comment down below hurricane so i could see how many people who watched this video until this end and i appreciate that one once again thank you for watching i'll see you on my next video peace is it on oh yeah it's on what is going on guys oh damn what is going on family i always forget this so oh. let's do it again part part two